Fox News' Randy Wimbley joining us live with more on why Zion's cousin was set free today. Randy. Hey guys, Jalen Brazier was admitted into a special program, essentially a boot camp program, which opens the door for an early release for those who successfully completed. This is absurd, it's unfair, and it's not just. Sierra Milton is reeling over the release of Jalen Brazier, who's likely the last person to see her daughter alive. Brazier was released from prison Tuesday, nine months after he was sentenced for lying to investigators about Zion Foster's disappearance. Why is this man free? <laughs> what? I can admit to this and still be let free. Zion went missing after leaving home in East Point to visit Brazier, who's her cousin, in Detroit last January. As friends, family, and police searched for her, Brazier told East Point investigators he did not know where she was or what happened to her. He later admitted to putting her body in a dumpster and claimed she stopped breathing while they were smoking marijuana. I was on panic mode ever since that happened. Her mom at one point talked to me and I couldn't bring myself to like, your daughter just died. What do I do? Brazier was sentenced to 23 months to four years in prison for lying to police, but ended up spending nine months behind bars. His early release, the result of a 90-day special alternative incarceration program, which Macomb County Judge Edward Servito approved. That boggles my mind for the judge to give and a, a more aggressive term because of hearing the case and finding out what Jalen said he did. It could be signed off and I not be notified. A group of Detroit police officers dedicated their entire summer to searching for Zion's body in a Macomb County landfill, but never found her. Chief White says DPD's investigation is not over. That case is, is still wide open. Um, we think we've got a strong suspect for that case. Our detectives are constitutionally doing everything they can to talk to him, investigate him, visit with him. Um, to make sure that we get what we need to, to charge that case the way it needs to be charged. In the meantime, no body means no determination as to how Foster died and no closure for a mother still mourning and still desperate for answers. What I want is I want justice. I want him to pay and I want the truth to come out. There's still so many unanswered questions for Sierra Milton. We were unable to get in contact with Jalen Brazier or the Macomb County judge who presided over his case. But as you heard from Detroit Police Chief James White, this is something they're still very much looking into. Roop, Taryn. Right, so Jalen right now is out. He has already paid his dues for right. this particular situation. But as we said a little bit earlier in the 10 o'clock show, if they do possibly find more evidence or perhaps her body, this case could change. Yeah, and as you heard from uh, Chief James White, they said they want this to be charged in their estimation uh, rightly and charged the way that it should be in their estimation. So they are doing everything that they can to try to reach out to him, talk to him, and see what they can get to get to the bottom about what happened to this young lady. All right, we'll have to wait and see. Randy, thank you.